because I realized that sometimes people will have to you have to learn to speak out because there's probably someone out there that needs to hear you say some of these things because they're probably going through the same thing and it can be lonely when you're going through something and you don't have anyone that relates or connects to what you're going through what's up people and young has that yo that's weird what's up people and y'all say yo how y'all doing okay anyway this video is more like a chat 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 stuff by the way we just entered the month of july so happy new month to everyone out there i love you welcome to the last six months of the year like we're now counting down to 2022 ending okay so this video is going to be about a lot of me thinking and just sharing my thoughts um, about a whole lot of things because I realized that sometimes people will have to you have to learn to speak out because there's probably someone out there that needs to hear you say some of these things because they're probably going through the same thing and it can be lonely when you're going through something and you don't have anyone that relates or connects to what you're going through it makes you actually feel like perhaps it's just you that is going through life when it's not really so everyone is going through life like in their own different terms and ways you know we're all going through life i think at this point we all have to understand that there's always going to be challenges life is always going to have challenges so let's talk about two things first the power of feedback one and second thing is going to be about identity yeah identity so let's go to feedback first thing so I recently shared on my story, Instagram story, if you're not following me, I'm at Sherry Kotze. Um, I was telling people that um, a person's feedback once made me stop YouTubing because the person has said I wasn't good enough and I believed it and I didn't do it. I like I stopped YouTubing because I accepted that I wasn't good enough. But it made me, after some time, um, I was watching another person's um, YouTube page and she told me and uh, she didn't tell me she, in the video She said she had been YouTubing for five years and after five years she now has like 60 subscribers 60,000 subscribers that just is 60 what are you talking about? 60,000 subscribers almost 60,000 subscribers and she was talking about how that it was challenging But the point is that you just have to keep going how that she felt she was pro at editing but she hadn't gotten there people had said stuff to her and my mind i was like one person just said one thing to me and i'm already giving up so what about by the time i start getting hate speech <laughs> which is something that i think youtubers should just accept you know so i started again but this time with a clearer vision with more determination that i was going to always put in the effort so if i don't if i make a video today i will try to do something better keep watching other people's videos learn from them try to take editing classes just all of those things to get better so yes now the power of feedback is that it can make or ma you first the person f giving the feedback has to learn to give feedback in love and in gentleness i think we have to all learn to have filters in our mouth i am one person that knows how to be sincere when when and i say sincere i mean like when i want to tell you my mind i give you with the emotions as it is raw as it is but i have learned that it's not a good thing i know that's liberating to wanting to tell people do as it is but you have to learn to consciously know that you are building people and the best way to build people is via words when you give positive feedback it actually injects more confidence in the person to do better and then when you give a negative feedback without the right perspective without the right word without the right you know support you end up destroying the person's confidence it's not everybody that can you know jump back like i did so many people that I don't know if it happened to you growing up your parents were like you're like oh i want to be a certain thing and then your parents are like don't even think about it what what rubbish is that or you're not good in maths don't even think about sciences so many people have actually lost their passion because of such feedback and they had accepted it because these are people that they that they in their perspective are um no better you know most times we look out for people we expect feedback 
from people that know better so when a person that knows better or person that you feel has more experience tells you you're not good it has a way of actually driving that you're not good if sometimes it may even just kill the person's passion to even wanting to try so when giving feedback is very important especially when it's a negative feedback it's very important to find a way to tell the person in love like in love in gentleness not just ex the person like sha, sha, sha. you're not good enough and end it there because what you know of that person is what you see of that person at that moment perspective can change human beings can change people that you think of them at certain time can change to become different persons you know life can change people so it's never safe to just down people and then simply say you're not good you're not good and that's just the end i really think that giving feedback is important that we put in number one love and gentleness to our words like choose your words widely wisely not to mar people but to build them up very important key or upon receiving feedback now this is a very important one and it could be very difficult because like i said most times we expect people that have better experience to give us feedback right but in receiving feedback it's sometimes not sometimes it's always necessary that you receive feedback not as a feedback on you as a human being but on the thing which needs the feedback for in my own case the feedback was on youtube not on my personality but somehow in my heart i had accepted the feedback as a personality issue i don't know if that makes any sense so it's it's important to be able to draw a line between when someone says you're not good at something not meaning that you're not you're not a good human being or you don't you're not you're not worthy enough to do anything good it just means that okay you're not doing this well and you can go further to ask okay how do you think i can do better what do you think i can do better you know and try to do better not accept it internalize the word as it's saying that it's you that has the life problem as nigerians i think we have a big problem with that when people want to tell us something that is not so pleasant there's a tendency that we internalize those words to think that they're talking about us and that's because growing up we tend to have perhaps a lot of times when you are told do this you're not doing it well you're supposed to you're not this and so all of those things have kind of like created a mindset in telling us that we're not good enough so it's, it's an important skill, it's an important recalibrating of the mind to see, to be able to differentiate your personality from, from the things you do. You are different from the things you do. The things you do are a part of you, but the things, it, it does, it's not you. you. How do I put it? It's an extension of you, but not the entirety of you. That's a very important thing you should really know about feedback. It's powerful to give, to receive and to give feedback giving feedback is you having an influence over a person and you receiving feedback can actually be a step to upgrading you or to downgrading you really key guys really really key second thing is about identity i think whew, connecting it with feedback i think i had actually used you know talk, talked a little bit about identity when i was saying you know talking about feedback identity issue right now is a whole lot of a sensitive matter <clears throat> excuse me it's a whole lot of a sensitive matter it's a whole lot of um sensitive issues out there it's now challenging to be a certain way to act a certain way because you may be misunderstood misconstructed and so many things but i I'm a strong belief that yes our personality our identities are being defined or ha are defined or being defined yes by the different <clears throat> experiences of life what environment says about us what our parents have said what our spiritual backgrounds are saying about us but very few times we really have few people that know what they are by themselves by their own revolution of who they are not influenced by what society environment say about them and it's a big problem because truth is society 
can change just like perspectives can change today we are talking about something tomorrow another thing again is accepted so society in itself can change but you as a person what do you say about yourself is like the most paramount strength of yours growing up what people said about me mattered mostly than what I thought about myself because I really didn't even think I could think about myself if someone told me, oh, you you can sing, you should be a, you should be a singer, I automatically take singing up as the new career I want to do. It's now in my adulthood and I'm beginning to define, okay, this is what I like, this is what I don't like, this is what I want to do, what I don't want to do. And that's key. I think some of the things we allow to influence us are not, will not influence us this much and define our needs our priorities if we are able to sit down with ourselves to define our lives for us to to find a a, a a place to start exploring life from or knowing what life is for you will be perhaps from the bible in fact not perhaps will be from the bible the bible for me is not just about you wanting to go to heaven all of this it's about what the heck am I here on earth for? I don't know if you have ever asked that question when growing up. Like, what the heck am I here on earth for? Like, I mean, what the heck? So, going through the Bible, I'm like, okay, so this is what I can be. I can actually have joy. I can have peace. I can be creative. So, I can do stuff. I can, I can be productive. I can be full of joy you know all of those things this is what my life can be about i just because i am from a poor background doesn't mean that my life is going to totally be about poverty i can develop my life to be all of those possibilities flow in my head and it's making me see life from a different perspective building my own identity which is different free from what society is pushing at me i really think that a lot more people should invest their times in developing their ideas through studying the word and just allowing it to cleanse them of some certain perspective and some certain mindset, some toxicity, some unclean thoughts and toxic lifestyle that is just eating up and hating on people. Okay, so battery low. Guys, um, I want to know what you think about power of feedback. I really feel that this is something someone needs to hear so that they are able to know that they are good. Just because someone said you're not good enough doesn't mean that you're not good enough. It means that you can be better and all of that. So if you do have someone in that light, I would love you to please share this with them. And if you can relate, just let me know. In the meantime, do stay care and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for loving up on my channel. Do have a lovely day. Bye.